the oven in just 90 seconds. Personal pizza fast. Subway, eat fresh. Now this is a deal worth walking all the way across town for. The $2.49 daily special. Every day a different delicious six inch Subway sub on fresh baked bread for only $2.49. Heck, just saying the price makes me hungry. Subway, eat fresh. Ernie Harwell here with my good friend, Alan Trammell. Tram, when my daughter needed a new roof, she called the experts at Mr. Roof, and she got more than just a roof. What do you mean, Ernie? She discovered a roof problems included in proper ventilation, which can lead to unhealthy mold. Sounds like she caught it just in time. Sure did. With Mr. Roof's specialized products and services, her roof is better than new, and it's more than just a roof. 1-800-4-MR-ROOF. Mr. Roof. All-star and champion Ben Wallace knows a thing or two about Sirius Bling. Yo, check it. Nice. Now check this, the Ford F-150. 28 World Championships is the world's favorite full-size pickup. Now that's some Sirius Bling. Now current AZD Plan lessees can lease a fully equipped F-150 XLT Super Cab for $199 a month with $19.69 cash to its signing. Hey man, it takes a champion to know one. <laughs> See your Metro Detroit Ford dealer today and... WXYZ7. Now, action news at 8. The reset. And Wallace will bang one from three point land and makes it. Yeah, you watched it. They are back in it. The Pistons divide all odds tonight and won a Texas shootout with the Spurs to tie up the finals once again. 3 3 in game six. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. They're now just one way. One game away from making the run for a repeat complete. Yep, and our postgame coverage begins live in San Antonio tonight with sports director Don Shane. Don, they pulled it off, and what a game. A absolutely fabulous game, and I'm joined by Antonio McDice. Congratulations. Uh, you played a marvelous game tonight, and you pulled out, and you forced the game seven, and maybe get some NBA history along with it. Yeah, first of all, thanks for giving my name, right? <laughs> but no, nah, we just came out and did what we supposed to do. I mean, uh, something we should have did at home last game, and we just came out and played with pause and got the game. Uh, I think the guards, Rip and, Ch and Chauncey, played about as well as you could and really carried you guys through most of this. No question. I think they played excellently. The first three quarters, they, they carried, and I think Rasheed came in the last five minutes and, and just and shed, it out, shed it out for us. They, we just did an excellent job executing on everything. You mentioned that some frustration at some point during the game, Chauncey getting a T and Larry getting a T and, and of course five fouls uh, on uh, Rasheed but yet he comes back and gets a huge basket late. No question we just had to let him know we were still in the building. Uh, we just wasn't going to let anything go easy tonight. We just going to you know suck it up and play hard and play with energy. Do you realize no team in NBA history in the finals has ever been down 3-2 and won the last two on the road to win the championship? Uh -huh. Well we're trying to make history. That's all we're trying to do. Just come out on um, Thursday and get a game and uh, try to win the championship. We've talked about this before but the way this team comes back and does so well when it looks like they're down and out and there's no way. What is it man? We just love when people count us out. I mean they count us out. Our uh, backs against the wall. We just come out and uh, you know with, with a spurt of energy. Got the momentum now don't you? I mean, hopefully, you know, we came in and stole this, and hopefully Thursday we do the same thing. Okay, Antonio, great game. Thanks for coming out and joining us. Thank you. Okay, Antonio McDice, Larry Brown is at the podium. Let's go there right now and hear what the coach has to say. You know, I know people look out there and reflect on the way some people act, and but they, uh, this is a competitive group of guys that uh, I think care about each other enough to go out every night and will those, themselves into a situation where they're going to give themselves a chance to win. Um, you know, I, I said, you know, we talked about it in the dressing room. Everybody made a big deal of, you know, the shot Ori made and who made the mistake. Uh, I ask my guys every day just to play hard and play unselfishly, and I can deal with any mistakes with effort. And, uh, you know, I talked to them before the game. Uh, I didn't want them to worry about not making hustle plays and think about the consequence. And, you know, that's what these guys have been able to do. Roscoe. Uh, Roscoe Nance, USA Today. Uh, Larry, talk about Rashid and how he, you know, came back from, you know, the criticism that he took for the play in the previous game and, and his contributions down the stretch. I think at one point he had like seven out of you guys' last nine points. Well, um, you. S you see him when he's not in the game. He's into it, cheering guys on. He, you know, he's an unbelievable competitor. Uh, 
And I, I think, you know, to a man, you know, everybody felt terrible by the way he took that loss last, the last game. Um, and I think that was a big, big thing in the game tonight. I mean, they care so much about him. Uh, but we needed him down the stretch. We had a lot of guys really step up, but obviously he makes a huge three, he makes a big baseline jumper on a pin down with Rip. Uh, got a couple of key rebounds. I, I said this last year when Joe made the trade to get him, he won us a championship. We were not ready to take that next step and now he's given us the chance along with all those other guys to you know go game seven and try again right here Sherrod Blakely Booth newspapers Larry could you just talk about the job Rip did for you offensively tonight I mean he, he there was never a point where he, he just seemed like he was in a flow all night long as far as the shoot is concerned well I got on him a little at halftime you know he's four for eleven I think at halftime or four for ten something like that and I, th I thought some of the shots on the baseline we had a new clock were a little quick but I you know I've been telling him just to take his time but aside from that uh, his defense in the first half I think really was a huge factor you know he pressured Parker and you know got our intensity up even though we were down one point um, but he he makes shots you know I I was a little upset at myself in in game five because you know I was trying to get us to go to him late and we kind of forgot about him he, you know he missed one shot or two shots but you know he's an offensive player and uh, underrated defender. And when he's making shots, it seems like it opens it up for everybody. Pistons head coach Larry Brown. This will be the first game seven in the NBA Finals in 11 years. And of course, the Pistons trying to become the first team ever to win the last two games on the road and win an NBA championship. The guards were terrific. Rip had 23, Chauncey 21. The Pistons win, and let's go to the highlights because this was a pretty darn tight game throughout tonight. Nice first quarter by the Pistons. Look at Rasheed driving on Duncan, reverse layup, and he was fouled on the play, but then he got into foul trouble later on. They got the fast break going. Tayshaun and Chauncey to a wide open Rasheed for the jam underneath. Bad defense by San Antonio. Later, watch Tayshaun. No defense all the way. He jams. It was 23 all after the first quarter. To the second quarter, it's Tayshaun again with a gorgeous alley-oop pass to Ben for the slam. Ben very active, Pistons up by five. The Pistons then picked up a couple of technicals. One was on Chauncey, kind of keeping Rashid away, and another on Larry as the Spurs were coming back. Tony Parker in the lane, he's fouled, and that tied the game. And then late in the half, bad pass. Rip takes it all the way to the basket. Pistons down by one at halftime. To the third quarter, a good one for the Pistons, especially Chauncey and Rip. Chauncey kept hitting threes. There's one, and here comes yet another one. And then watch Rip drive down the middle and score and get fouled. The Pistons looking good up by four after three quarters. The tip into the game came early in the fourth. Brent Barry, he gets this one to go off the glass, and he gets fouled, but Rip came right back and isolated. Look at Hamilton. He gets the jumper, and all of a sudden, the Pistons are back up by five. Rashid with a huge three, made it 87 to 82, and the Pistons were still up by five. And then up three, Chauncey drives. He misses, but watch Rashid with the follow. It put him up five. From there on, they went to win 95 to 86. Chuck Daly joins us in studio. Oh, we're going to go to Greg Popovich. Uh, which one are we going to? Chuck Daly in studio right now. Uh, Chuck, your thoughts as you watch this game unfold as the Pistons toughen this one out. Well, you used the right word. They're about a tougher club as I've ever seen in the NBA. The guards totally outplayed Parker and Ginobili. Ginobili and Parker were penetrating with no place to go, almost out of control. They almost forgot about Duncan. But I'll tell you, it was a great, great win by the Pistons, and their defense and their all-around play was fantastic. What does it say about Rashid to uh, go from what happened in Game 5, where today he admitted he was the guy who was at fault, to come back out, getting some foul trouble, but yet at the end of the game, make some huge plays with that three and that follow. 
Well, he did what he had to do, but I'm going to tell you something. I felt that Larry touched on it. I think this club played this game for him. They were not going to let one of their own, perhaps their best teammate, be the GOAT of this whole series. And I think that's the reason they won this game. Okay, Chuck, hang in there. Spurs coach Greg Popovich is meeting with the media right now. Let's listen in and see what he has to say. Wallace's play down the stretch. He really had some critical plays for them. Yeah, he got, you know, he made a big shot, had been sitting on the bench for a while and came in and knocked down the shot on the baseline. Uh, got an offensive rebound and stuck it back in, I believe. So uh, he came in and got back to work. You know, he didn't worry about having to sit with some fouls or anything. He got right back in the game and, and did his job. Larry on the other side. Coach Larry Smith with CNN. They had eight three-pointers this entire series, hit eight three-pointers tonight. Was it something different that they were doing or just hitting their shots? Uh, I, I think that uh, Chauncey was looking a little bit more for them, but uh, we had a couple of bad rotations in the first half. I think they had five of them in the first half, and we had a couple of uh, poor rotations where a couple of guys uh, made mistakes on some of the threes, but uh, that... You know, they're not known for to be a three-point shooting team. So some nights that's going to happen. They shot them well tonight. What, what is of concern to us is that, that we shot 28, and that's too many. Uh, it's definitely too many. A lot of those were hurried, uh, a matter of trying to win quickly, skipping steps. Uh, you know, they've got to be good shots. They've got to be open threes, not hurried threes or hoping that they're going to fall. So our, our threes were more of a problem, really, than the made threes they had. Did they look for that three-point shot this entire series? Did that surprise you that they were began looking for that shot? No, I mean, because a couple times, you know, Chauncey and uh, Rip, they were wide open, and rotations didn't get where they were supposed to be. Mike. Uh, Mike Monroe, Express News. Spurs coach Greg Popovich, hey, you get to a game seven, Anything can happen. Pistons have just as good a chance to win this game in San Antonio as the Spurs do, and that will be Thursday night right here on Channel 7. That's it for now from San Antonio, the SBC Center. Stephen, back to you in the studio. We're back with more later in the show. All right, Don, the Pistons certainly have broken that Texas jinx. We'll see you shortly. Hundreds of fans watch the game on the edge of their seats at Shane Park tonight including a very big fan, Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Action News reporter Cheryl Choden joins us live with that part of the story. Cheryl? What a great game, Stephen, and it is so much fun to watch a game like that with hundreds of other people, and that's why they came to Shane Park along with the mayor. It's cleared out now, but a group of fans kind of hung around our truck. They want to give you a cheer. <laughs> There's something about watching with a crowd that makes it okay to be really loud. And there's something about watching with the mayor that makes Shane Vision a fun place to be. It's fantastic, Detroit basketball. They symbolize the great spirit of the city of Detroit, and we love our Pistons. Detroit basketball! There's a downtown version of Mason and a riverfront view that's amazing. And while the focus is, of course, on the game, there's fun in between shots. You got all your fans here and everything. This is live, you know. This is the crowd. My family here is as fun. While the hundreds of fans watch with up and down jubilation, the mayor watch with great anticipation. He has a wager with the mayor of San Antonio that could send some Detroit products down to Texas. But it's Fago, Better Made, and, and it's some Saunders Hot Fudge. And so those are the three things that are coming to basket to him, plus $1,000 to his favorite charity, which is some youth and children's fun out there. Uh, and then also, I got to wear the jersey for a day and take a picture of myself and send it out to the San Antonio people. What a bright night for the Pistons and for the people of Detroit. And you know what? We're going to let the mayor of San Antonio put on one of our jerseys. Reporting live downtown at Shane Park, I'm Cheryl Choden. Back to you. That sounds uh, like a good idea. We're going to make it a Rasheed jersey tonight. There you go. What a night for the Pistons. They take game six tonight in San Antonio. We want to take a look now at one of those great Piston plays. This is from the second quarter right here. That's Tayshawn Prince throwing the ball up. Ben Wallace puts the ball down for two. Even Rasheed thinks that's one heck of a great shot. Oh, you've got it. You are watching Team 7 coverage of game six of the NBA playoffs. Stay with us. We have plenty more post-game coverage still to come. This nightline, miss this.
And coming up on Nightline, so what exactly does $80 million buy you in Washington these days? The Internet has changed our lives forever. Now we're making a change you're really going to like. Get SBC Yahoo DSL for just $14.95 a month when you order online. It's high-speed Internet for a dial-up price. What are you waiting for? Chevy Equinox LT all-wheel drive versus Lexus RX 330 all-wheel drive. Equinox has better fuel economy. Equinox has more rear seat leg room. Equinox offers available OnStar and XM satellite radio. The RX 330 doesn't. And Equinox has one more appealing feature. It's over $11,000 less. Isn't it nice when the more attractive choice is also the more rational? Chevy drives the Motor City. See your Detroit area Chevy dealer today. Why should you be a Bell Tire customer? One, out the door pricing. Mounting, balancing, valve stems, and tire disposal are all free. Plus, if we can't beat your best deal, it's free. Two, the largest selection of brand name tires anywhere. Nobody carries more in stock. Three, the best customer service. Experts help you choose the right tires. And ASE certified mechanics get any job done right. Did I mention we beat all deals or it's free? Trust us, we'll make you happy you came in. That's a promise. Bell Tire. Wallside, Michigan's window leader, announces our incredible pre-holiday sale. Prices have never been lower. Get sliders from $2.29 installed. Double hung tilt ins from $1.89 installed. Patio door walls from $6.99 installed. We can do that. We are the factory. And you pay nothing till July 2006. Wallside won't be undersold. Give us 15 minutes in your home and we'll prove it. Call now, 1-800-521-7800. Supercharged. Now get high speed internet for the price of dial up. In other words, the wait is over. Get SBC Yahoo DSL for just $14.95 a month when you order online. Do the math, compare, and save. Welcome back to San Antonio. Tim, Tim Duncan is now talking to the media. Let's join that press conference. You can just express the obvious disappointment. You had a chance to wrap it up here at home. Uh, your, your team had a wonderful win. You were coming off that win. Can you talk about the disappointment in this game and uh, your, I assume, admiration of Detroit for coming back in there? Yeah, they're, they're, they're the, we said it after last game. They're their best when facing elimination or, or down. Um, that's when they're at their best. And uh, we know we had to put a, a very good game out there to beat them. And uh, we, we didn't do it. Um, it's a disappointing loss, but uh, um, uh, we play all year to have home court, to have this opportunity. So uh, we're going to come in, in this building uh, two days from now and, uh, and, and do a lot of cleanup stuff. Larry on the other side. Tim, Larry Smith with CNN. Did it surprise you that they went to the outside shot so much tonight when they, they hadn't looked for it this entire series? They were big. They hit some big shots. And uh, um, uh, Rashid hit some big ones. Chauncey was, was, was big from the start. He was, uh, he felt, uh, he was feeling it all night. Um, and uh, once they got rolling, I think it just came, it just, the confidence kind of uh, permeated throughout their entire team. The guys getting open and they were letting it go and it was going down for them. And, uh, and beyond that, when they didn't miss shots, they got uh, some offensive rebounds that really hurt us. So uh, um, all in all, they just played a, a much better game than we did. Next question over here. Tim Duncan of the Spurs, you know what? I remember back in the Miami series when we talked to Shaq's wife, she talked about all these parade plans. That didn't work out. And then, of course, tonight we talked about it. They touched on it on the telecast. It was on their blackboard in the locker room. A whole city had released plans for the parade on Thursday. There will be no parade at Riverwalk on Thursday. There will be a Game 7 Thursday night. Christy, back to you in the studio. Yeah, it's just too bad for them. All right, John, thanks. We'll see you a little bit later on tonight. You know, Palace Vision was rocking along with the Pistons tonight. The crowd was the largest and the loudest yet. Actually, his reporter Glenn Zimmerman is live at the Palace with a dozen of his new friends. Oh, there is a party going on here. And when you're looking at a party like this, it's best seen through the eyes of a child. 
with the crowd getting riled up to a frenzied pitch, five young men bore the responsibility. The dreams of thousands. All right, we'll see you. Let's get ready for the game. It's game time, baby. It's game time. Y'all ready? Randomly chosen from the Palace Vision fans, Chauncey, Ben, Rip, Tayshawn, and Rashid were transported from San Antonio and miniaturized. They're very strong. Thank you. And it takes strength to perform when expectations are so high. What are you going to do to be the best Chauncey you can possibly be? To do everything. Spoken like a true champion. Yes, it was loud and seats were in short supply, but amidst their adoring fans, these Pistons performed. Yes, there were some nail-binding moments, but when their names were called, you could see it in their eyes. They were born for this. What did you feel like out there? I feel like Detroit basketball. Oh, and this party is still rocking. Nearly 18,000 strong tonight for Palace Vision. Police telling me everybody, yes, having a great time, but very well controlled. It was loud. It was fun. It was Palace Vision. We'll see you Thursday night. We're live here at the Palace of Auburn Hills. I'm Glenn Zimmerman. These guys are psyched. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, thank you very much, and also thanks to all those people. And if you think it's loud tonight, wait till Thursday. Okay, let's do this one more time. Winner takes all, Thursday, Game 7. And we invite you to join us for the Rock Financial Pistons game day preview at 8 o'clock. ABC's coverage of the final game begins at 8.30. When it's all over, one of the teams will be celebrating. Uh. Stay with Action News for the post-game <laughs> highs. Hopefully there won't be many lows after Game 7. Yeah, there were a couple of nail-biter moments there tonight. What a wonderful game, y'all. The Pistons, they pull it out again. They always do, don't they? Let's take a look now at another great play. This one from the first quarter. We'll start with Lindsey Hunter getting the ball, throws it to Tayshawn Prince. Oh, yeah. That was Tayshawn putting in the bucket, uh, bucket for two. And make sure you stay with us. We're right back after a break with more Pistons post-game coverage. Fans of the Palace are loving it. How do we measure quality? By building a minivan with a serenity of quiet tuning. An SUV named best in class in total quality. And an SUV that delivers 26 miles per gallon highway. Buick quality is in everything we do. And now you can measure our quality for yourself during the Buick Employee Discount for Everyone event. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. Lease Rendezvous CX now for just $189 per month for 24 months. Call for details. See your Buick dealer today. Thank you, guys. What a weekend. Awesome time. Right, thank you. Hey, you're marrying a great yeah, girl, buddy. You. Seriously. Yeah, she, is, she uh... is a great girl who would not approve of one <laughs> single thing we just did. <laughs> Isn't that your... <laughs> well, that's going to make an interesting toast. Elias, president of 800 Hansons, where you get better windows for less and a whole lot more. You need new siding for your house, it's 800 Hansons. How about a new roof? It's 800 Hansons. Gutter guards for your house, it's 800 Hansons. How about new doors? 800 Hansons. If you find a better product at a better price, I'll give you $100 towards the purchase of theirs. Now that's a guarantee. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. This is the Civic Value Package from Honda. And this is a gallon of regular, unleaded gasoline. The Civic can get up to 38 miles on just one of these. And with a full tank, the Civic has a range of up to 500 miles. Given the rising cost of gasoline these days, we just thought you'd want to know. The remarkably efficient Civic Value Package from Honda. Get APR financing as low as 1.9% on 2005 Civics for well-qualified buyers. Well, great night, great game, great weather. What more can we ask for, Cherry? How about some more great weather? Sure, <laughs> and another great game. Just one more. 
Uh, we've had some uh, terrific weather out here the past few days, and uh, tonight we're getting some fresh air moving into town. Once those uh, showers and thunder showers moved on through, the air is starting to dry out just a little bit, although it's still kind of muggy here in the city. Some of the northern suburbs are beginning to feel the drier air. Here's a look at Viper, and you see the uh, showers and thunderstorms well to the east now, moving down through Cleveland, headed toward Akron, and uh, down toward Columbus. These showers and thunderstorms produced uh, several spots with some heavy rain around here tonight, earlier tonight, and late this afternoon. Dearborn Heights uh, checked in with over an inch and a quarter of rainfall. Uh, they had a little over a third of an inch in Pontiac. Ypsilanti had a third of an inch. White Lake with a little over two tenths. Detroit City Airport over on the east side had a less than tenth of an inch. So uh, the rain kind of spotty around here, but where it did fall, it fell heavily in many spots. 68 degrees right now at Pontiac. 66 at Mount Clemens. It's 61 degrees up at Port Huron. Still hanging on to 70 degrees here in the city. Notice the humidity is up to 90 percent right now. Rising barometer with a northerly wind at five, and that should bring in some drier air a little later on tonight. Sky Skies are clearing and overnight lows will drop into the upper 50s in Birmingham and Richmond and Howell will be around 60 degrees for our overnight low here in Detroit. About 12.30 this afternoon we had 86 for our high, 60 has been our low and out at the airport we had a little over a third of an inch of rain. Things are drying out all across the Midwest, some clouds still lingering but those are beginning to thin out now as this drier air works its way out in and we've got several days here of some uh, really decent weather up until we uh, head toward the weekend. Big area of dry air off to the north bringing in some uh, drier air for the daytime tomorrow and a northeast Easterly wind that'll bring in brighter skies for the daytime. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 80s, 81 at Oak Park and Roseville, and 82 degrees for a high temperature in Taylor. Our forecast then for the remainder of tonight, it'll remain dry, still kind of muggy, at least for the short term. 60 degrees, the overnight low. We'll feel that drier air come in here tomorrow morning. And then on Wednesday, plenty of sunshine. It's not going to be quite as warm tomorrow, not up to 86, but still in all, a warm day with a high temperature of 82. Lots of sunshine tomorrow with a northerly wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. And then some great weather again again for Thursday, Friday, the humidity returns, and so does the heat. 90 degrees on Friday, maybe even higher. Should have plenty of sunshine. Over the weekend, a little bit cooler as we get some scattered showers and thunderstorms early on Saturday. We'll have 87 degrees for both Saturday and Sunday and back up near 90 again the early part of next week. So some are not wasting any time mm -hmm. in turning up the heat. We like it. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to okay. extend that five-day forecast into next week. You know, just in case there's a... Oh, don't I know what you it. mean. Exactly. <laughs> Stay with us. We're going to have more Team 7 post-game coverage of Game 6. I'm not going to say Don't it. Don't say it. I'm not going to say it. It's we, right we Chevy Equinox LT all-wheel drive versus Lexus RX 330 all-wheel drive. Equinox has better fuel economy. Equinox has more rear seat leg room. Equinox offers available OnStar and XM satellite radio. The RX 330 doesn't. And Equinox has one more appealing feature. It's over $11,000 less. Isn't it nice when the more attractive choice is also the more rational? Chevy drives the Motor City. See your Detroit area Chevy dealer today. Subway Restaurant's personal pizza, awesome. Now there's new personal pizza from Subway Restaurants. Sizzling hot and bubbly with all your favorite toppings. Hot out of the oven in just 90 seconds. Personal pizza, fast. Subway, eat fresh. Now this is a deal worth walking all the way across town for. The $2.49 daily special. Every day a different delicious 6-inch Subway sub on fresh baked bread for only $2.49. Heck, just saying the price makes me hungry. Subway, eat fresh. Stop to pop-ups. SBC Yahoo Online Protection blocks viruses, pop-ups, and more. It's all together in one place. Included with SBC Yahoo DSL, now just $14.95 a month when you order online. All-star and champion Ben Wallace knows a thing or two about serious bling. Yo, check it. Nice. Now check this. The Ford F-150. 28 World Championships is the world's favorite full-size pickup. Now that's some serious bling. Now, current AZD Pine lessees can lease a fully equipped F-150 XLT Super Cab for $199 a month with $19.69 cash to its signing. Hey, man, it takes a champion to know one. <laughs> See your Metro Detroit Ford dealer today, and Tonight at Red Roof Inn, Bill stays in a business king room. Look at this space. And feels like a business king himself. Multitasking. Chances of me working are remote. <laughs> Don't miss the redesigned, rededicated Red Roof Inn and a core hotel. Tonight at Red Roof Inn. Nice.
Steve stays in a renovated room. You've got much hair, but you got everything else. And mixes business with pleasure. Yes, sir, I'm working on those statistics right now. Don't miss the redesigned, rededicated Red Roof Inn and Accor Hotel. Game day superstitions are nothing new for the players, and as we found out today, the fans have them too. Action News ran into a few people with some strange game day traditions, and tonight it appears as though they paid off. You wear it every game? Every game, every game, every playoff, every season. It's getting small, so I'm going to have to give it to my son. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with your hair there? Oh, I just started growing my hair since the beginning of the playoffs. And I haven't cut it yet until they lose. And so far, it's been pretty good. Okay. When the series is over, then I'll wash it. But until then, it's wear every day. So <laughs> when's the last time it was washed? Um, Miami. It's not really bad. It might have a little mildew smell on it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Poor Kim. That shirt is going to get just a little bit smellier now. The series is headed to Game 7. A lot of talk today about a parade in San Antonio. Well, we didn't have one here, but Pistons fans certainly didn't let the team's trip to San Antonio stop them from having a pep rally here at home. Yes, that was supposedly, allegedly, a Spurs fan taking a dip in the dunk tank. Rock Financial turned its parking lot into Pistons Party Central lunchtime today. Rock, of course, is the team's presenting sponsor and put on a rally to show support before Game 6, and apparently the rally worked perfectly. There you go, and just ahead, we're going to head back to San Antonio tonight for more post-game coverage of Game 6 of the NBA Finals. We'll be right back. Stay with us. One night, you're a bum. 48 hours later, you're a hero. Yeah, I was. Now during the summer sales drive, it's one week to deal, where well-qualified Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can lease one of America's hottest products for just $2.19 a month. Go to places you've only seen in postcards with the fully capable award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Or qualified returning Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can get into their own safety utility vehicle, the Chrysler Pacifica, for only $2.19 a month. Plus, lease now and pay no security deposit. But hurry, one week to deal ends June 30th. So get to your Chrysler and Jeep Superstores today. If you haven't met this guy, Bell Tire. you really should. Bell Tire. See, he knows what you want because he's got what you want. Watch. Who has the guaranteed lowest out-the-door pricing every day? Bell Tire. Who beats all deals or it's free? Bell Tire. Who has the biggest selection of name brand tires in stock? Bell Tire. Who has the best service? Bell Tire. Who invented steel belted radials? Gotcha. If you haven't met this guy, stop by. Trust us, we'll make you happy you came in. That's a promise. Bell Tire. Shorty, you know the game's about picking and choosing. You don't know when you want, you so used to losing. Move around now, move around now, move around now, move around, move. Join Regis and Kelly aboard the Pride of America with guests David Allen Greer and Michael Bolton. Next live tomorrow morning at 9 on 7. You'll do better. You'll do better in Bluefield. On the Bluefield is taking it down. The showroom, the inventory, and the prices. During our reconstruction, grab a hammer and nail down a great deal on a new Civic. Starting at just $118 a month. Or a new Accord for just $178 a month. Plus, once we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. Don't wait. Come in today. Hammer on a great deal and see why. You'll do better in Bluefield. On the Bluefield. Why go anywhere else? You have to admit, a lot of people, including our own Don Shane, were wondering whether the Pistons could pull off a Game 6 win in San Antonio. But one person never had a doubt, and you saw it right here on Action News at 5, our very own Robbie Timmons with a bold prediction. It turns out she's only one point off for predicting the margin of victory. Take a look. I expect him to win by at least 10. How's that? That's bold, Robbie. <laughs> All right, so Don Shane joins us right now. Bold it was, Don. They won by nine. What's so good about what she said, huh? <laughs> so you're not going to give her it's a It's very pass. important. It's very important to point out that after I said that I didn't think they were going to win tonight, 
that I said, you know what? I want them to win. I hope they win. I want a game seven. But you know what? I'll take whatever it is you guys want to throw at me. Go right ahead. It's not going to be us. Knock it's going to be around. Robbie. It's going to be Robbie. She'll have something to say to you oh, tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be Robbie tomorrow? Oh, yeah. No yeah. problem. Robbie will I can be handle Robbie. I've been dealing with Robbie saying stuff to me for 20 years. All right. Well, you're going to deal with her one more day tomorrow. Uh, That's not a problem. Not right, a problem thanks, for Don. Yeah, I think I'm going to take uh, Robbie with me the next time I go play the lottery. Oh, yeah. yeah she'll help me she's out. She's got an inside one. track or something. Well, that's going to do it from Action News. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. All right, Don Shane and the Seven Sports team is up next with more Pistons post game coverage. Coach Chuck Daly is here with us also. Have a great night. We'll see you again tomorrow and Thursday. This has been a presentation of 7 Action News on your side. In Michigan, more people get their news from 7 Action News than any other source.